Thank you guys so much for tuning back in. Uh, so like I said, yesterday we finished up Madarame. We finished up, I think, the initial storyline of Yusuke's backstory regarding uh, the Sayori, his mother. Um, you know, closing the chapter on the second arc of the game, as I call it. So we finished Kamoshida, we finished Madarame. They gave us a little tease at who the next dude is. Uh, we, I don't know, like, the extent of his crimes or, you know, you know, his distortion or anything like that. Uh, I, I think his name is, like, Junsei or Junsu. I, I forgot what they said yesterday, but the new guy, we have a little bit of a, of a primer for, like, I, we at least know what he looks like, so once we see him, that's when I'll start honing in on figuring out uh, who this guy is. And of course, I did my decor in my room. We have this ramen noodle. We have this ramen bowl that Ryuji gave us. We have this um, this chocolate fountain that we got from On. So I think as you go out and hang out with your friends, they give you like these mementos of the moments that you hang out with them, which I think are pretty cool. I'm, I'm wondering if like Yusuke is gonna give us something like uh, like. Um, you know, one of the one of the canvases essentially because he's an artist, and uh, I'm actually really interested to hang out with Yusuke as well because we haven't hung out with him. We only recently started hanging out with Lady On. We got the big revelation that the teacher is a maid slash prostitute, I guess, on the side of also being a high school teacher, and she's keeping that on the low. And we basically have we basically have uh, <laughs> some baggage on her we basically have uh, some dirt on her which is kind of interesting so um, for right now I'm wondering if I can do oh okay I can All right, I can't make any I have 13 lockpicks I can't make anything else uh, yeah I'll, I'll do this one make myself invisible I'll take it my proficiency I think is the highest out of all of my that? social skills if I'm not mistaken stop here yeah nice <sighs> yeah, it's at level three, so it's the highest one out of all of my social skills. Ah, uh, that sucks. So you can either keep making stuff up to four times, or go get your ass to bed because Morgana said so. <laughs> oh my god, it jumped to 16! Dude, it doubled! It went from 8% before we defeated Madarame to 16.8% now, wow. Did you see the news? That's a ca that's a calling card from the Phantom Thieves, right? Oh, wow, people are talking about us. The way, it's see the way it's written seems legit. Have they really stolen people's hearts? I can't believe the Phantom Thieves actually exist. Dude, that free promotion, dude. Oh, shoot, oh, these are our summer outfits. Nice. It's morning. The response to Madarame's press conference was huge. Everyone's talking about the calling card. Girls be checking. <laughs> Girls are checking me out today. Maybe they can't help but sense my overflowing phantom thief charisma. Oh shit, am I really starting to become popular? What's wrong with that? <laughs> For real? For real? What's wrong? My uniform, man. That's what. We're supposed to switch to our summer uniforms today. I know people uh we're looking at me oh god damn i gotta go home and change so i'll so you go on ahead wow i mean that's really interesting too that like i guess it makes sense right year round you want to <laughs> switch out into something more casual something more liberating for the heat i don't really know how hot it gets in japan so holy shit you're pale short sleeves oh yeah so you can see their pasty white arms because they're always wearing blazers shut up geez anyway did you catch the news yesterday Watching that famous artist cry his eyes out over cry his eyes out over all the artwork he's stolen. The same thing happened to Kamoshida. Weird, uh, both got weird calling cards. If you ask me, the same person is behind all this. The news this morning said a group called Team Phantom are the ones behind the cards. I wonder how they get people to confess. I mean, they can't literally be stealing hearts. Blackmail, maybe? Hey. I love how we just like casually are eavesdropping behind everyone who has like juicy you know, juicy details to say, oh, okay. How are things going in regard to that matter we spoke of earlier? Uh, she's pinpointing on us, too. She, she saw us all hanging out at the, uh, at the access way. I have nothing to report yet. Hmm, nothing at all? How many students are there who could provoke a teacher? I've already narrowed it down. I just can't get any solid evidence. Yeah, she's already, she's got her eyes set on us, that's for true. You knew, didn't you, about Mr. Kamashita sexually harassing students? Of course he did. He was like, you know what? I'll turn a blind eye because you're a, an Olympic, like, you're, you're an iconic Olympic volleyball player and you basically bring revenue to our school. Sir, 
sure. Damn. What will come of you asking that? The truth! This investigation is for a just cause, correct? I believe I understand how flustered this must be making you. I'm sure it was truly shocking for you as student council president to see a peer attempt suicide. Oh man, I hope we see Shiho again actually. Like I like the way that um Mishima kind of cleaned up and he's not he doesn't look like a battered and bruised student anymore. Uh so I'm wondering how she's holding up. I know Ans basically said that she's doing well, but I I'd, I'd personally like to see her again at some point. Yes. We must provide a school environment where all students can feel at ease. Yeah, but I mean, damn. That is the most pressing issue we have to tackle at the moment. He's also holding like a letter of recommendation over her head too. And basically it's like, if you don't play ball, we'll find somebody who will, and I'm gonna ruin your future. All, all the, all the, literally all the adults in this game are really like, really shitty people. Majority of them, at least, I will say. A lot of the ones that have authority are in, are, and that are in a position of power. They're just like, I feel like this is like, like some kids next door type shit, right? Like, all the kids from kids next door, they're like, yo, screw adults. And then this game is like the same thing. It's like high school students saying, screw adults, screw society. So that's your reason behind this investigation on the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? We don't even know if they truly exist. Why are you... You heard about the incident with that Madarami fellow, I assume? Yep. They said there was a similar calling card. To yeah, Sojuro's a good guy. Sojuro's a great guy. That's why I that's why I preface by saying adults in position of power, because the dude owns a cafe, you know what I mean? <laughs> he makes coffee and, and and curry. Like I don't he's not a corrupt dude. I wish to believe that this is unrelated to our students. Yep, feels bad, man. Yes. That is where I stand. I suggest you devote your energy to the task at hand, not unnecessary questions. Damn. Basically, do as you're told. <sighs> that sucks, man. Wait till my sister hears about this. <laughs> it's like the Draco Malfoy reversal. It's like, my sister will hear about this. Ah, feels bad. She doesn't even want to do this. She's being forced to. You know, I can't be harsh at her. Like being pressing for answers and tracking us down. Did you see Madarama's press conference? Dude, look at Ryuji's shirt. What does that say? No mo rules? Is that or is, does that say no mo rules? Is that's basically his yellow shirt but red. And I love how everyone's wearing a regular shirt but him. He's wearing like a graphic tee. You mean that guy who was all like, how could I possibly apologize for what I've done? Oh my god! They've made a freaking artwork of Ka uh, freaking Madarame crying on the- what? Dude, have pity for the guy. I know he fucked up, but they're like making fun of him. They're not even seeing like, I don't know. I, I have too much sympathy for human beings sometimes, even if they're like, lowly- Well, let me, let me, let me, let me re- let me, let me reinstate that. Let me uh, backtrack for a second. There are there are clearly individuals if they like cross a line, like you can burn in hell for all I care. But like, I don't know. They just like they have a complete change of heart. Like the consciousness of everything that they did just weighs down on them, and it's like, damn, dude. Like damn. Like that's how you truly feel about what you did now that you're coming clean. And I don't know. It's kind of like almost like a form of rehabilitation for them. So. And I'm wondering what that means for our rehabilitation as well. I think it was really those phantom thieves? You know, the whole stealing your heart thing? That? Uh, there's no way. But then again, it seems too convenient for it all to just be coincidence. Yeah, <laughs> we're right behind you, dude. Yeah. Yeah, Ryuji's hype right now. <laughs> How's it going? Hey. Have we found our next big target? Oh, it's raining too, yo. And it's Monday? Dude, I better be able, dude, Morgana better not hold me back. I'm trying to go to the freaking, I'm trying to go to the bathhouse today. I just started looking yesterday. No way I'm gonna find one that quick. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. By the way, I decided on the TV station. What about you two? I also just realized that this is, this is like some Death Note level shit. Like, uh, let me explain that too. Like, we're in Japan. We're committing these acts that are ga uh, that are gathering the attention of like police forces and detective forces, 
and they're gonna like and they're like slowly honing in on our position it's not like on the level of l where he found out about l's uh, light's identity tracked him down in you know the kanto region of japan and like was like literally inches away from catching him from the get-go but i still i'm like i'm wondering how i'm wondering how all of this is gonna come to fruition essentially oh crap the social studies trip oh, I just social studies where the heck do you go for a social studies trip like a museum you better go to your school activities didn't i tell you not to draw attention to yourselves true Hello, Wouldn't guys. we suddenly turn it into a <laughs> dark one? neon wolf with the four month resub courtesy of slower yak Then let's all choose the TV station the TV station I heard we're gonna get to watch them tape a show Maybe there will be actresses there, huh? Hello, for guys. real No, no for real oh, well, ah not like I got anything better to do than waiting for info to come in online yeah, I mean, you can find your scoop at the TV station, most likely. That's where, like, they get all these reports. Plus, Morgana's right. Showing up will keep the teachers from getting all suspicious of me. All right, I'm gonna head back. Yeah, his shirt does say no more prob uh, no more rules. TV, huh? Maybe I should get a haircut. Oh. I'd love to see what Ryuji looks like in black I'm hair. such an idiot. <laughs> I hope nothing happens. Come on, Ryuji. You have got to be kidding me! Oh, Here's dude! <laughs> oh my God, Yak! Chill, my boy. Oh boy! All right, this afternoon. Let's see, what do we got on the schedule? I, I mentioned that we want to go to Mementos. I was just about to say I need to. I, dude, like, literally, it's like I thought it into existence. I was like, I mentioned that we need to go to Mementos, but I probably want to catch up with uh, Mi uh, Mishima. To see if he has any type of uh, uh, any type of request for us. Okay, so hey, I got some great intel. This time it's bullying by a Kosei student that they call a queen. Uh, okay, you guys been checking the net. Things getting pretty heated. All right, let's visit, explore mementos. Hold on, if we ch if we remember correctly, we have some intel on a possible target. Let's check on that before. Oh, okay. View request. All right, uh, okay, then we have some new intel on the Mementos target today. Um, this intel is on a sadistic student. Sounds like she's been treating a particular male student as a slave against his will. For example, she's give, she'll give him degrading orders or berate him in public. So she's acting like a dominatrix to a guy who doesn't want that? That's horrible. I think we'll need to whip her heart instead. Hey, and no better person to do that. You have the whip. Very well. I will go along with this. Guys. No objections, right? So they also have to decide unanimously on the mementos targets as well. So I didn't realize that. Alrighty, here we go. Oh, thank God, pollen season's over. But it is raining. No, it's not raining either, I don't think. Alright, wait, you guys. There's something doesn't seem right. Really? That it seems the same to hold on. It looks like the navs are reacting to something. Oh, is, is it the Reaper? Oh, okay, it's another it's another section. Okay. Oh wow, this place is getting pretty elaborate. Alrighty. Area has been confirmed in the depths. Updating Hello, guidance guys. information. What's this? What's this? It looks like the places we can go is expanded again. Okay. It's because Hello, we made Madarame's palace disappear, right? Yep. Most likely. I think. I think. Let's see. You seem rather uncertain. How far does this Mementos run, anyway? I'm wondering if there is, like, an end game to the Mementos as well. Because uh. if it's the general public cognition, then I'm wondering if it has an end point at all. It's huge! Extremely! I guess it would have to have an end because it's within the confines of where we live in the region of Japan. You're always so vague when it comes to the important stuff. Okay. It's like he's kind of flaky as our chief of operations. Don't you want him to try a bit harder, too? <laughs> hey, he's doing his best. Exactly. That's the response I wanted. He's doing his best. You truly are different from that moron over there. <laughs> Dude, I love how they just talk crap about each other. I love it. There, there. I don't fully understand, but mementos and the palaces are related to each other, correct? Oh, yeah. We have to info. Yep. Well, in a way, they're both kind of in the same realm, but one is of one's 
warp distortions while the other is a general is the general population then all we must do is continue changing the hearts of evil doers to ascertain its full expense yeah but i mean you do you realize how many people live in japan i don't believe there's a need to quarrel over it oh okay whatever you say bud <laughs> i love how he just sets the record straight for everyone he's like hey stop bitching and moaning we got this uh we should investigate what kind of change occurs come on joker Oh, come to think of it, it's raining today. This might have an effect on mementos. Yeah. That means today's our chance to get ahead. I think they're all just gonna die naturally anyways. Another summon? Okay. They're all weak against fire. And as it looked to the horizon... It's like they crept up out of nowhere. All around it. What? 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 You foretold. You never okay, see you come out. You'll see that my mind is fast for us. Done By the time it hits you, your last surprise. All right, working our way down another layer, another level. All right, level four. Oh, a resting spot. Okay. Huh? Those are. They're people, right? No. Well, it'll... Uh, I'd say they're most likely sh shadows. What are shadows doing here? It's not like they're gonna be catching a trainer. Oh, snap. Hmm. Hmm? Hey, what's up, Heather? Thank you so much for the host. It stopped. Those people get on the train? Oh. oh. Okay, they gone on, I guess. Come on, man. Hey, where the where's that go? If I had to guess, I'd say the deepest part of Mementos. What? This place seriously doesn't make any sense. Huh. Hey. All right, what's with this platform? Clearly a resting spot. Hey. All right, but seriously, what's up with this place? Shadows ain't gonna attack us. Uh, shadows ain't gonna attack us here. Hmm. It sounds like this is some sort of safe zone separate from the other area. All right, you will occasionally find waiting rooms in Mementos. Just like safe rooms, you can uh, quick travel and save your game. Okay, so you basically like the waiting rooms of Me the, the save rooms of Mementos, which is good. Well. Okay. Uh, let's keep exploring, I guess. Oh. Oh. Let's do it. All right, let's save. Did we level up here yet? Uh, nope, we didn't. Okay, so we're. Roughly an hour into this run. I honestly want to go for the Platinum for this game as well. I, I like it that much. And, that and I have, like, my own criteria for why I go for Platinums. For, like, I will only really go for a Platinum trophy in a game if I genuinely, like, love the game. That's, like, if I have a Platinum on a game, that basically tells people, like, he really loves this game. And, uh, I, I, like, at this point, I know I'm not that far in Persona 5 yet. But I, I'm already, like, I already cherish this game so much. Ah, oh, get him! Alright, so these enemies are getting a little bit tougher. A little bit tougher. Captain Kid, get him! You get that crit? Oh, okay, so he's weak to... Okay, he's weak to electricity. Good shit, Skull. Out of respect for our father, let us take a moment's respite. What do you want to say, I guess? Is that a good... Okay, there you go. Nice! I am not a shadow of this place. I. My name is Archangel. I am thou. Thou art I. I think I have to get rid of somebody now. I, do I? No, okay, nice. Good shit, we got somebody. Oh, you wanna know something that I found out? Uh, my friend Julian told me that I didn't even realize. Whatever, whatever persona you have, their strengths become your strengths and their weaknesses become your weaknesses. And I did not know that. I had no clue that your characters, like basically, you're almost augmented to whatever persona you have equipped at the time. And I had no idea about that. And I feel like I was, I've was i made so many errors in the game so far because of that. And I feel like that's like an... I don't know if the game even tells you that. And if it does, it's very glossed over. But, um... But yeah, I don't know. I, I completely, like, that just went over my head. Because the characters themselves already have, like, their own stats. So I was like... So I never stopped to think if the if the personas had any type of influence on that. 
So, um, super late into finding that out or realizing that, but better late than never, I guess. Your character has no battle stats. It takes your... Okay. I could have sworn we did. Hold on. What the heck am I bugging on? Let me, let me see. Did I really think that? Stats? Okay, so it was just health and SP. I had no clue. I figured, I was like, okay, so we level up, we have health, we have SP. I'm pretty sure we have all that other stuff that I just can't see, right? I mean, like, our attacks, like, our damage output and whatnot is based on what we equip. So, you know, like, I see we have attack and accuracy, so I thought it was all tailored to your weapon, your, like, your equipment and, and whatnot. So, I'm, I don't know, I'm bugging at that point. So, you're the pig who wrote that calling card online. What do I deserve, uh, why do I deserve this, hmm? <laughs> It's because you made some guy your slave. That's all kinds of wrong right there. That's what he wants. He worships me more than any god, you know? I don't know where to begin to explain how you're wrong. I beat him and I hurt him and he says that it's a sign of our love and friendship. He's so happy. You are so delusional. I'm pretty and my grades are good. It's my right to order people around. I'll start by giving orders to you pigs. Lick my shoes, peasants. All right, you need to like, you know, miss me with that bullshit. Oh, what? That's a pretty cool persona. Okay. Oh, this is pretty dope. That's a real. I don't see a weakness. Oh, damn. We don't have a level on her either. Come. All right. Oh, dude. GG. Yo, you're already you're already done for. We found out your weakness right off the bat. Nice. Good shit. I kind of regret taking out on now. Ooh. What? And it rages? Just calm down. Listen to me. Oh, I was not expecting that. Okay. Damn it. And freaking the main freaking Joker is in rage and he's the only one with fire, I think. Hold on. Um only thing I can do is up his evasion and hope that he doesn't get wrecked. Alright. Okay, obviously resistant. Come on. Oh my god, she hurts so much. Yeah, Ryuji might get wrecked. Hey, just calm down. Listen to me. Oh, nice, the crit hit too. Uh, oh, she's almost dead. She's almost dead. Charge. Oh, fuck. We gotta kill her now. Yeah, we gotta... Oh, my gosh. We gotta kill her now. Fingers crossed that she dies this set, because if not, we're fucked. Come on, come on. Oh, it's, it's close. Oh, he's back. Yo, your boy's back. GG. Oh, that was so close. Okay. We did it. We did it. 12,810. No one died. Feels good, man. Everybody leveling up around here. Level 19s. Good shit. That was so close. I was like, if I don't kill her right now, someone's gonna die. <laughs> Okay. Oh man, nice level 13. Another tool for our mission. Okay. Oh, nice the all-around fire move now. That's pretty legit. No, 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 no. Jeez, I, I, I don't, I can't even understand what this is like for people who. Oh, look at this. We got it. Oh, look at that wall. Let's check if we can open it. I don't think so. This would be the third level. I was about to say, yeah, we didn't do the third, the third, like, palace. Is it not opening? I guess we'll need to be more of, uh, we need to get more of the public to accept us. So that means we're still not so popular. So that means there's, like, eight tiers then, I guess, for each palace that we complete. Uh, I mean, or, or I guess, like, the level of percentage that we clear. That's interesting. She was asking me. Examine. Okay. Okay, okay, we get it, we get it. We gotta go in. We covered a lot, I would say, I think. Yep. Boom, boom. Nice. Yeah, Mementos does get a little boring after a while, I'm not gonna lie about that. Oh, more talks? Ooh, we're almost on that 17%.
I gotta go to the library, swap the book out. <clears throat> oh! Right? What's this? A request to the student body? It says they're looking for information. I heard Principal Kobayakawa. Please consult the student council president if you have any details. Right? It seems like most of society ha is was surprised about what the artist did. He was someone who represented Japan. They probably trusted him based on his name alone. Indeed, we're easily manipulated by the names we see. However, the world is filled with fake names. For instance, this creature, which you know well. It's called the Red King Crab, but it has a form that a crab should not have. Kuduzukun, look at this picture. Oh! Give it a try. What is the Red King Crab most biologically close to? A, a, biologically? A spider, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, a spider, I would say. Uh, I'm gonna go with spider, final answer. Oh! I, I thought hermit crab was too obvious. I thought hermit crab was too obvious. I was like, hermit crab, king crab, clearly a trick answer. It looks like a spider. It has like the limbs and the legs and the arms. Damn, I got it wrong. But you know what? Rules were meant to be broken, all right? <laughs> I got it wrong, but I got it right. I, I, dude, I'm trying to go for that knowledge. Why did I get that wrong? What? I, how did I misinterpret that? Crabs have five pairs of legs, but red king crabs only have four. Interesting. You cheater. Hey, uh, what, what's it called? Don't get caught cheating because it's only cheating if you get caught. There you go. <laughs> Check the clinic for- Oh, that's right. Didn't she say she has another trial for me? I completely forgot about that. Uh, let's go to the clinic. Hey, I'm back. There's no one here. Oh, it's raining too. Nice. I want to do a clinical trial. I feel like my bond with uh, Ta Takami will grow stronger soon. Nice, let's do it. Let's hang out. Well then. Oh. All right, let's do it. She's gonna have me drink some random stuff. The and? plant. I have to check the plant today. Then I couldn't check it yesterday because, you know, the whole thing with uh, go to bed. Uh, so why come here? Aren't you under the care of another hospital? Oh, what's up with this little girl? I heard rumors about this place. I'd like for you to examine her. She's been diagnosed with bronchitis, but the medicine she was given hasn't been working at all. She has a fever that won't go away, and she's losing weight because she's not hungry. A young girl losing weight is definitely not good. You should go to a bigger hospital. I can't provide a thorough examination here. We've been to a big hospital, the University Hospital in Eastern Shin Shinjuku. It's persistent bronchitis. <sighs> University Hospital in Eastern Shinjuku. The doctor there performs exams like he's on an assembly line. I think he's famous or something. A famous doctor. As you can see, I don't have any other staff. Wait, I've heard there's a, med there's a medicine that can only be acquired here. Oh, okay, he's on the same line as we are. Please, I'll pay you. Please, at least just examine her. Uh, hey. Hold on. Yo, feels bad. I hope, I hope nothing bad happens to her. Doctor, my chest really hurts. You'll be okay, uh, dude, you'll be- <laughs> Just walk it off, kid, or, you know, put the doctor- mm, Yeah, come on, you gotta- you gotta help. You gotta help. There you go. Doctor! <sighs> Fine. Hmm. Is your vision blurry? How about your throat? Does it hurt? Hmm, no signs of swelling. Are you sure you've told me everything about her symptoms and treatment you've tried so far? Yes, I'm sure. Hmm. She got seasonal asthma? That's what I have. I have seasonal asthma in the summer and the winter. There's something I'd like to ask about a case that was in last month's medical journal. I guess the ones in stock will have to do. There's a shelf in the reception desk. Bring the contents of the second drawer into the exam room. Exam room, sorry. You'll need to help me administer the medicine. Oh shit, dude, I'm the doctor's assistant! Also bring a beaker with a red vial, uh, red label on the fridge, a towel. Geez, are we like delivering a baby? Wash basin and measuring spoons. <sighs> All right, get moving. Thank you so much. I didn't expect to her to recover so quickly. Mm. Huh? It was a very unique strain of an infectious disease. It can't be detected by conventional exams. 
I temporarily suppressed the symptoms. We'll make adjustments to her con as her condition improves. That'll be one million yen for today. Damn. That's outrageous. You <laughs> completely taken advantage of. I mean, all right, I agree. What? I agree to pay a million yen? You don't take cards, do you? <laughs> I'll go withdraw some cash right now. <gasps> Wait, you're actually going to pay? Hey, I mean, it's a father. Fathers will do anything for, the, for their daughters. Your famous doctor, chief, uh, medical chief of staff, Oyamata. Yes, are you familiar with him? I knew it. In that case, I'll make this free of charge. Oh, uh, is that like her former? You seem happy. Nice. Doesn't it feel good healing his patient? Uh, healing his patient without permission. By the way. By the way, thanks for your outburst earlier. I'm going to perform a very special exam on you today. Oh dear. Is he your assistant? He seems awfully young. Yes, my assistant, <laughs> guinea pig. Oh, damn, he's about to put in a lot of hard work today, aren't you? Yeah, I kind of threw her in the ring right there when she didn't want to be. Oh, level four. We're getting close. Getting close to that next upgrade. Doctor, can I go back to school now? Uh, not for a while. You need to start eating and regain your strength first. Can you do that for me? Yes, thank you, doctor. <sighs> Don't mention it. Your turn. I wonder what kind of response you have this time. Maybe you won't even be able to make it home. Well, my house is right down the street. Come on. Nice. I got some guts, too. Nice. Bye. Later. Okay. I need to plant this. I need to nourish this plant really quick. Plant. Oh. Okay, let's give it some nutrients. Nice. Oh. Got some more. Is that kindness? Yeah, I think that yeah that goes towards kindness. Sweet. All right. Oh. Little by little. Oh, I can call the teacher, can't I? Oh no, I need. Yeah, I completely forgot. I need higher guts for that. Hey. All right, make coffee. Hey. Yeah, brew some coffee. Ooh. Looks like you're starting to get interested in things. Hey, you're not trying to impress me, are you? Eh, whatever. All right, I'm heading out to buy some cigarettes. Let's see if we can make a good cup. I love the smell of good coffee. Oh, it's good? Nice. Yes. Yosh. The way you're drinking it looks so makes it look so delicious. LeBlanc coffee. <laughs> looks like you're at it again. How is it? Here, I'll have a sip. Uh, be proud of me, senpai. Mm. This taste. It must be Colombian Norino. Let me explain. Let me explain. Yo, Coffee Lore 101. The high altitude, rainy climate, and soil of the Colombian mountains creates a strong foundation for their Norino coffee. Has a creamy, viscous body that the that coats the mouth with fruity and nutty flavors. <sighs> Interesting. The flavor profile is bland. You should practice more. Okay, well, how about we level up our confidants? Maybe that'll help me out. Instead of talking down on my coffee. You see a lot of different customers come through when you have a cafe like this. Even if someone looks like trouble, I'll serve them a, the same coffee I serve everyone else. That's my job. I have pride in what I do. You're like a customer too. One that takes a tremendous amount of effort. You have the potential, so keep practicing. Will do. Well then. And that's the evening. Evening well spent, I guess. So you have your social studies trip tomorrow. It's a good chance to think about your future. Be, be sure you're paying attention. You'd better not make a ruckus. Am I clear? It will reflect poorly on our school. There's a group going to the TV studio this year, correct? Oh, uh, that's our group, I think. Kuruza-kun, here's a question for you. What's the answer? Huh, with the advert of the color TV, something else started appearing in color. Do you know what it is? <laughs> Don't let your dreams be dreams. No, not not underwear. No, I doubt it. Movies, right? It's movies. I mean, it's synonymous with television. I remember my psychology teacher saying that we dream in black and white. I remember he literally asked in class. This was like in high school. He was like, when you dream, what do you dream in? And I didn't like, I, obviously we all have dreams, but you never are thinking about it in the moment. Like, yeah, I dream in color or because dreams are so like, 
brief. Like, I don't remember any dreams to that extent, like, if it's black and white or if it's not. All right, I'm gonna go with don't let your dreams be dreams. Oh, oh, look at that. 10% said... No one said underwear. Like, that's... Dude, 10% of people said movies. I literally thought it was movies. All right, don't let your dreams be dreams. Exactly. Yo, thank you so much, Shia LaBeouf. I love you, my dude. <laughs> Before, most people's dreams were in black and white, but research shows that once color broadcast became the norm, but why would that matter? Cause like, I'm looking at color right, like let's just say color TVs weren't a thing. I see colors all around me, why would it matter? Why would it matter if the colors broadcasted or not? What's fascinating is that people see the world in color regardless of TV's existence, exactly. It's strange that our dreams have been in black and white until TV's inception. That's so weird. That's really strange. Nice going. Sweet. Get that knowledge, my boy. All right. In the future, if 3D TVs become the <laughs> Yeah, let's talk about 3D TVs. Uh they're not they're not a thing. All right. Well, they were a thing and they flopped. Same thing with curved TVs and all that other random bullshit, like freaking big screen TVs and all that jazz, none of that. In the future, if 3D television becomes normal and lets us sense flavor, smell, and heat, then dreams might become indistinguishable from reality. That's dreams with flavor, I could get behind that. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Oh! Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Sounds like the principal's trying to get information on the students. Why do you think he's doing that? It's kind of because- it's probably because of Mr. Kamushita, right? Considering what happened to Suzui-san. Mm -hmm. Huh? I heard Principal Kobayakawa um, knew about the sexual harassment too and just- Oh, damn! And An is finding that out right now. I bet he wants to snuff out any rumors now. Even the volleyball team was told to keep quiet. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's the worst. So that's what he's using Nijima Senpai for. Huh? Wow. Dude, I wonder if we're gonna go after our principal's heart at some point. Oh yeah, rumor has it she knew as well. Isn't that horrible? She acts all noble about it too. Nijima Senpai knew? Damn, that's like the worst thing to stumble upon. Dude, everyone freaking gossips in this damn school, my boy. <laughs> what is the meaning of this principal Kobayakawa kun? Uh, Kobayakawa, I don't know why I said kun at the end. Why did you post that notice? It was all for your sake. I thought the more information you had, the easier your investigation would become. And did any information arise from the case I asked you to look into? <sighs> No, dude, stop pressing this. What the fuck do you like? Why are you rushing this boy? I will pass the details along if anything comes up right now. There is no that there, there is more There is a more pressing issue. It appears there are students at Shinju who are being threatened by a criminal organization What? N Nani? A student who saw you posting came to us looking for help. I'd like to request a countermeasure. Isn't this some sort of mistake? I can't believe this would happen to the students of our academy. Now is no time for such problem. There is still lingering concerns regarding the Phantom Thieves. No, but... but we've received a request for help. I'm busy at the moment. If you wish to do something, you need to act on your own. What? Damn, dude. Are you sure about this? Am I still investigating your case as well? Yes, that's correct. My intentions have bore fruit. This criminal organization must be connect must be the connecting factor. If you pursue this crime issue, you'll surely find clues about the Phantom Thieves. This is absurd. <sighs> oh man, this guy is like I don't know. Your sister would have solved this oh, okay. Yeah, well I'm not that's not his that's not she's not her. Your sister would have solved this easy if she was in your position. Your, my expectations of you are very high. I hope you do not disappoint. <laughs> Damn, dude. Living in her sister's shadow at this point, it appears. Hmm. Let's see how things unfold. So what kind of person would be a bigger th target than Madarame? Hmm, I wonder. Uh, a crooked politician, a famous celebrity, an evil overlord. I guess a crooked politician, like that fucking dude who sued us. Let's go after him. Alright, if only there was a big target just lying around for us. 
this crime organization dude i think we're gonna get their crime boss which is that dude that was shown uh sai nijima showed us in the interrogation room oh yeah we're going on a field trip tomorrow all right maybe our next target will be a celebrity we shall find out let's see let's see let's see uh give me one moment <clears throat> I'm gonna see if the teacher's around here. Yep, faculty office. Aw, oh, man. Anyway, I think I gotta go to the library. I gotta switch out my book. I just remembered. Uh, I'd like to return a book. I'd like to borrow a book. Um, I am now forgetting what books I've read. So I've read The Thief, I've read Zorro, and I've read The Gallant. So I gotta read Carmen and Captain Kidd, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so I'm gonna read uh, Carmen's book next. The Alluring Dancer. Hey, sounds interesting. I don't know if there's anything that we do specifically on Wednesday. Oh, wait, no, hold on, never mind. Uh, I just remembered, I wanna go and try that burger. The Big Bang Kamehameha Burger. Welcome to Big Bang Burger, open 24 hours a day because there's no day or night in space. Due to the popularity of the Big Bang Challenge, we are offering another campaign this month. At night, the Big Bang Challenge will cost our intrepid travelers a mere fee of only 500. Take the challenge. Aw, oh, man. You could try for only 500 if it were nighttime. How much is it? Uh, 1,200? I can throw 1,200 at that. That's fine. Not a problem. <laughs> Big Bang Burger. Now that's a catchphrase. Alright, let's try this out. We need some guts. I need a, I need enough guts to uh, Thank you very much. to call the teacher and to talk about the gun with that dude. With the with the gun owner guy. Now then. Alright, here we go. You got 30 minutes. Chow down, my boy. <laughs> I love how Morgana's here just give, yeah. giving me a lot of support. I'm rooting for you. And remember, no nobody will think any less of you if you give up halfway, though. Uh. Oh, I finished it! I somehow ate the whole thing. You did it. What? I was not expecting that. Congratulations on completing the challenge. Since you managed to extinguish the Comet Burger, I present you with the second mate badge. Next challenge will await you that you become this. Uh, new challenges will await you now that you've become a second Please mate. Again. Oh my god, dude. Holy crap. That was my second try on the Big Bang Burger. Or the Comet Burger, rather. <laughs> wow. Good shit. I was not expecting that. <laughs> your pace, your strategy of using well-timed drinks, and just the spectacular way you devoured it. Everything was perfect. Oh, uh, dude, tell me more. Keep talking about how awesome I am. Oh, my knowledge went up too. Sweet. All right. Oh, again? What the heck? What was that one? Oh, dude, everything's going up. All Charm? Right. Yo, keep them coming. Proficiency? Yep. All right. Want to head back? Dude, holy crap! That's a what a well-rounded freaking challenge. Holy crap! That was awesome. Ah, you're back. All right, let's see. Uh, okay, that's right. We're going on a field trip tomorrow. You know how we're going to that TV station tomorrow? Yeah. I'm thinking we might find our next target there. Oh, that's right. Uh, you always hear about how celebrities are involved in all sorts of shady business. Uh, I haven't heard that. <laughs> With that much money, they'll probably have their fingers in all sorts of dirty business. Hmm. That, <laughs> that phrasing has quite the immoral ring to it. Dude, you always react to the weirdest stuff. Anyways, we're, we get to observe a live recording of a show, right? Oh, maybe we're gonna be on TV. Uh, we'll just be in the crowd, remember? Any TV appearances would have- would be like two seconds. Oh, let's make some coffee! Right now. Hold on. I don't know if I have to have it on my person or if I have to have it directly equipped, but I know, like, having the corresponding persona with the confidant does go a long way. Shoujo's guidance is extremely precise. I did just as he told me. Nice. I feel like my bond with Shoujo will grow stronger soon. So the next time we can have an encounter. Hey, thanks for helping out. Don't mention it! Uh, we're on the cusp of that 17. Okay, you have to have a Jess in your party. Okay, okay. And that's why we recruit sponsors to help make TV shows. 
Gotta love those sponsors. I'm sure you know about commercial breaks. Well, those are actually sponsor-related product placements. You know what? It's kind of, this is kind of, and this is a PR woman too saying it. I actually found out about the whole thing about like ad placements and stuff like that and ad friendly content and whatnot from YouTube. Like I had no idea that commercial, like back when I was younger, of course, and no idea. I thought commercials were just something that they put in between episodes. I didn't know it was like to push sales on stuff. I've never, I don't think I've ever once went out of my way to buy something because of a commercial. I think, I guess, I guess that's kind of a lie, but I guess it's not as direct. Like I've never been like, holy shit, I have to buy that because that's that commercial that's showing it. It's always come from genuine interest, like a video game or something. I would do my research, look into it. I would never be like, oh, I'm gonna spontaneously buy that because I saw a commercial on it. But then again, I think to an extent, a lot of that comes down to, uh, um, I, I feel like a lot of it could be subconscious as well. To sum things up, ratings are <clears throat> vitally important for a station's production funding. Yep. And... Huh. It also depends on, like, the time slots. That's why you have, like, a lot of really prominent ads that run, like, for the Super Bowl, for example. Like, those people pay, like, a ton of money to get those on there, because that's, like, massive ads, like, viewed by millions of people. Uh, everyone knows that. That's... <gasps> excuse me. That's inter that is interesting. Huh? <clears throat> oh. Oh. You'd better keep listening, man. <laughs> For example, soap opera reruns are shown in the day, whereas alluring newswomen are broadcast at night. Ooh. Thus, the scheduling department is where we decide what time we broadcast which program. Interesting. I suppose you could say it's the place where the scheduling is determined. Okay, that makes sense. This get any more obvious? Yeah. <laughs> it's easy to understand. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> so sleepy. <laughs> so, the best parts are taken from the footage in order to cut down the program to the desired length. Okay. The what is this a reality the show? The footage is edited would be the editing room. How much longer does this go? <laughs> I swear. I'm not, I'm not gonna last. <laughs> hey! The fuck is this guy? What's going on? I can't stand all this noise. Famous newscaster. Hey, asshole. Oh! My apologies. I'll have them leave right away. Now then. We're on a field trip! For a bit of hands on experience. The hell you mean? We'll have him out of here. Damn it! Who does that jerk think he is? Is that guy? I could have sworn I've seen that guy before. Hey there. You want to be on TV? Bossy Ed? Huh? You've got a slamming bot after all. Oh, this fucking. <laughs> damn, dude. Was that really funny? Uh, I'm on a school trip. Just give me a call if you're interested. I'd greatly welcome a message from you, day or night. Ah, uh, dude, Japan, dude, this fucking game has all type of freaking jackasses. Uh, yeah. Greatly welcome my ass. <laughs> it's obvious what he's after. Do these rotten adults care about anything other than looks? Yo, preach, Ryuji, preach, my boy. I'll yank their stupid hearts out. Damn it. <laughs> and eat it. Will you quiet down? You're supposed to be acting like good students today. Yeah. Don't make Morgana mad. I understand you're bored. Oh. Please don't cause any trouble. Okay. Hey there, lady of the evening. How are you doing? Well then, uh... Let's have you see what it's like to be an AC. Oh, that stands for <coughs> assistant camera. Okay. When we're moving cameras, we need people who will get the cables from getting tangled up. Oh, wow, it's just someone who is basically the busy boy, just like running around holding cables and whatnot. The blonde will do. He seems like he's got energy to spare anyway. Damn, bro. Pick the wrong guy. You can come too if you're feeling lonely. Come on, hurry up and grab the cables. Damn it. This sucks. <laughs> Some field trip, am I right? Ah, what a pain in the ass! This is totally killing my vibe. Yeah. 
<laughs> we fought valiantly against the long cables. Dude, I better get guts for that one. Hey, that's a that's a shitty field trip, dude. I'm so pissed off. Aren't we supposed to be guests? Why the hell do we have to be doing manual labor? This is bullshit. <laughs> Going to the bathroom didn't even make me feel better. Wow. Ryuji's on edge right now. I've never seen him this pissed off. Quiet down, will you? I get how you feel, though. That sucked for the both of us. Well, we gotta do more of this tomorrow, too? No flaking out, Ryuji. Damn. What a shitty, no, what a no. shitty freaking... I gotta be a good boy, right? Like, my field trips, we went to, like, museums. We went to like movie theaters, not movie theaters, but like performance theaters. I went, I'm one field trip I went to New York, but we went to the Metropolitan Museum of Art, but then we got to like t hang out in New York for the rest of the day, and it was my first time there. It was my junior year of high school. But yeah, this is like, this is lame. Oh, being Phantom Thieves ain't easy. <laughs> well, we're not Phantom Thieves right now, we're high school kids. And that reminds me. We get to go home straight from here today. We don't spend much time in this area, so why don't we relax and check out some shops? Before? Oh, are we in a different area? Oh, I know a place. I want to go to that huge pancake-looking place we passed on the way here. Oh shoot! Do they have an IHOP? Yo, that'd be so dope if they had an IHOP. That'd be that'd be boss. It looked delicious. What was that? Oh, you mean Dome Town? Dome Town. The round part is a baseball stadium, then along the outside, they've got an amusement park. Oh, that's pretty dope. It's right in the middle of a business area, but they have some pretty hardcore rides there, too. All right, let's go. <laughs> I'll show you just how courageous I am. Bring it, Morgana. Going on a scary ride doesn't really prove any kind of courage. I'd like cats can get on anyways. <laughs> well, he's in the bag, so. Really? Really? You might be able to sneak in if you stay in the bag. But yeah. You'd totally puke if you did that. But, uh, let's just go to Dome Town. Dome I'm Town. I'm really feeling it now. Nice. Me too. My stomach's ready for roller coasters. Ah, uh, I think I'll pass on the <laughs> Dude, you just got cold feet. <gasps> oh, the dude! Excuse me. I couldn't help but notice your uniform. Hey! Uh... Are you students of Shujin Academy? Hold on a second, give me one second. Dude, you know what I didn't realize? Hold on, let me go full screen here for a second. You know what I didn't realize? I had no idea. I found out about this yesterday. I had no idea that the dude is on the freaking case right here. I had no idea until yesterday when I saw him. Um, I saw him like a after we, we, after we basically, uh, after we stopped Madarame, I had no idea that he was on the that he was on the case. But yeah, I, I just thought that was crazy. And I barely like I obviously you know like you see like the main character and then you see like certain characters in the intro, but I had no idea that whoever this guy is, Pleasant Boy, he's on the case of the uh, on the game case, which I thought was pretty crazy. All according to Kei Kaku. Excuse me, I couldn't help but notice your uniforms. Are you students from Shujin Academy? Yeah, what do you want? Interesting. I happen to be passing by, so it seemed polite to greet you. We'll be filming together, after all. Okay. Uh, where are my manners? My name is Goro Akechi. Goro? Goro Ikechi? Akechi? Filming? What? You a celebrity? Is he like the owner's son or something like that? Well, what's in the- what's in the box? Or rather, what's in the briefcase? Only to the extent of appearing on TV a couple of times. <laughs> His legal name is Pleasant Boy, I guess. Oh. Um? My apologies. I truly was just passing by. I must be going. Oh, I want to get to know more about this guy. Goro Ikechi. There's a briefing for tomorrow's recording that I have to attend. Does he go by Ikechi? Last name? So you're going to go have cake now? Oh, <laughs> he picked up on that. I missed lunch today, so I'm quite hungry myself. Oh, like you want to go with us? Huh? Cake? What are you talking about? Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. Oh. No matter. <gasps> well, see you tomorrow. Wait a minute. I... 
Wasn't Morgana the one that said pancakes? Am I tripping balls right now? Did I thought Morgana said pancakes. Did he hear Morgana? That guy's gotta be some kind of startup entertainer. Or Am I tripping right now? I could have sworn Morgana was the one that said who mentioned the pancakes first. He's never gonna get popular with that kind of hair, though. Oh, I am so interested in this character. You don't get it. It's fine. We'll see him again tomorrow anyway. <sighs> Come on, let's get it. How have none of them noticed that, dude? Ooh, Shudo uh Shidobashi. Uh a college town full of fun places such as an all weather stadium. Enjoy the arcades, spas, theme parks, and more. You'd be you'll become a date expert. Oh, okay, this is where you take your dates out. Alright. Nice, Dome Town. Dude, how? Hey, can we how the hell? How did he know that? He heard Morgana. I wonder if he's the. Uh, I wonder if he's the uh, the Black Mask. I feel like I'm gonna puke for real. My stomach's churning, dude. I, yo, that got me so excited. I like. Uh, dude, and I just like I found out he's on the case. He was in the last he was at the end of the last stream that I did and Now we have and so his name's Goro uh, I, I already forgot his last name uh, Akechi. Yeah, Goro Akechi Dude, it's not fair using your cat hood as an excuse only at, at times like this hey. hey, are you guys feeling hungry? How about some pancakes? Let's go home. We have another full day ahead of us tomorrow. All right. Oh my God. Uh, they're gonna film us at this TV station tomorrow, right? Well, try not to stand out too much. That's what Ryuji's for. <laughs> Yo, throwing all the shade at your boy. <laughs> uh, let's not do that today. Can I not leave? I have to go to bed. Hey. All right. You run my life, Mr. Cat. I'll do whatever you say. Well then. Let's call it a let's call it a, I haven't seen I haven't seen Igor for a bit. Now that I think about it. Let's see. Oh, okay. Mr. Akechi's coming on. Oh, who is this kid? Mr. Akechi. Oh, damn, already? Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's a catchy oh, yeah. All the ladies just dropped their panties right now. It's that guy from yesterday. Cutting back from commercial. Seven. Six. Five seconds till start. Four, Four three, three, two, and one. On to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. Really? Who's this kid? After his last appearance was so well received, <clears throat> we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. Okay. What's he all it's about? The high school detective, Goro Akechi. High school detective? You know what I realized too? I don't know if I'm looking too much into it, but he has the same eyes as Makoto. His eyes and her eyes are like the same red. Like, almost like, Hello there. almost like maroon colored. And they're detect- he's a detective, and her his- Makoto's sister's a detective, and she's kind of like a junior detective. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, Akechi-kun. Your popularity is stunning. Interesting. Even I found it to be quite a surprise. It is a bit embarrassing, though. Catchy. Moving along, we've been told there's a case on your mind right now. Care to share, detective? Oh, Makoto sister's a prosecutor. Uh, I mean, you gotta get to de I, don't you have to get like to detective before? Nah, not really. I guess you just tell people like, hey, you're going to jail. <laughs> um, okay. Ah, oh, yes, that would be the scandal involving the master artist Madarame. Uh oh. There it is! All of this phantom thief excitement has caught your attention too, akechi -kun. Oh, he's trying to find- Dude, he's trying to find out who we are! Makoto's trying to find out who we are! Allow me to be blunt for just a second. What do you think of these justice-oriented phantom thieves? Hey, we're, we're in the crowd, so you better choose your next words carefully. If they truly are heroes of justice, I sincerely hope they exist. Interesting. Oh, so you don't deny the possibility that they're real. 
I may not seem like it, but I sometimes wish that Santa Claus actually existed. <laughs> Isn't there supposed to be, like, an E after Santa Claus? Unless that's a... I guess that's how they spell it. Although, if he did, I'd have to arrest him for breaking an enemy. <laughs> but he's leaving presents! Come on! Come on! It's Santa Claus! Uh, hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real... Oh, shit's about to get real. Music stopped. I believe they should be tried in a court of law. Ooh. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? They're going against free will, my friend. Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. I mean, that is... I mean, it's all up to interpretation. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. But I mean... You just said it yourself, what he did was wrong. I mean, you're judging him right there. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. I can understand that. You have a point. These people are calling themselves the Phantom Thieves, after all. Amazing as always, Akechi-kun. I could listen to you for days. You have the most radiant charisma. <laughs> All right, this guy is the firm ass kisser. This 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 TV host here. I have to say though, I would be embarrassed if it turns out these phantom thieves don't exist. No, we exist, buddy. Closer than you think. If that were the case, I'd summarize it into a report as a school project. Now then. Let's try asking some students the same age as Akechi-kun about the Phantom Thieves. Oh, dude, right here. Ask me. First, please press your button now if you think the Phantom Thieves exist. Oh, do I gotta press my button? Of course they do. Let's see. About 30% or so. That's good. What are your thoughts, Akechi-kun? That's good. That's better than 16.9. I'm a bit surprised. That's higher than I was expecting. I'd love to hear some more detailed opinions on the Phantom Thieves' actions. Hmm. Uh-oh. They're gonna call on- Yeah, yo, she just oh, darted straight for me, dude. Asking this student here. <laughs> Putting you on the spot, buddy, leader of the Phantom Thieves. What do you think about the Phantom Thieves? Hypothetically speaking, what are your thoughts on these Phantom Thieves if they were real? Dude. You know who he looks like? I just really- He kind of looks like Light Yagami. Like a younger Light Yagami with longer hair. I just, that's honestly, and Light had red eyes, like when he became Kira, while like, they, like, Light was kind of shown off in like a red light, while, uh, L was shown in a blue light. That's literally who it looks like. And he's a detective too. They're justice itself. Oh god, dude. I am justice! <laughs> Dude, it's gonna- Yo, and our, our character could kind of be passed off as L. Holy shit. Dude! Is that like a thing? Is that literally a thing right now? They both have their own version of justice. They're justice itself. They're necessary. They do more than the cops. I wouldn't say they're- Let's see. But like, what- 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 I guess everyone has their own inter- my- in- in this context, I would say the definition of justice in this context would be like having people take responsibility for their actions and these scumbags aren't going to do it willingly, but we know that they're bad, they know that they're bad, and if- if anything, we're allowing them to willing- I don't know. It's so morally gray. I don't want to go as far as to say we're justice itself, but like, in a way, we are necessary for- for change, I would say, more than anything. Because if it wasn't for us, and if it wasn't for this power, or this gift, or whatever you want to call it, then, um, things would have never changed. Kamushita would still be doing the same stuff he's doing. Madarame and Yusuke- Yusuke would still be in his shitty situation, never know about his mother. Madarame would still be taking credit for all his work abusing his, you know, his apprentices. So, in a way, we are kind of necessary. Ah. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. At, at this point, I think we are, and more people are believing that as well. This completely goes against the opinion you had about them being tried by law, Kechikun. Oh, God, here we go. 
they're like, huh, the only reason, the only reason you would be opposed to that is because you support them or you are them. Indeed. It's rather intriguing to hear such a strong acknowledgement. In that case, there's one more question I'd like to ask. <laughs> are you a member of the Phantom Thieves? He's gonna hit you with that revelation like when L went to light and he was like, I'd like to tell you I'm L, like in the middle of freaking a school ceremony. If someone close to you, for example, your friend next to you, if his heart suddenly changed, wouldn't you think it was the work of the Phantom Thieves? Uh-oh. Oh, no. They only target criminals. Well, I mean... Dude, that cut that draws so much attention to us! Because it's like... There's only two things... There's only two... There's only two individuals that we can go based on that. They only target criminals. I see. But how can you be so sure? Whether the thieves' actions are good or not, I feel there is a more important issue at hand. It's the authority that they have now. The ability to change hearts, not the fact of their choosing good over bad. It's just the potential and magnitude of what that can turn into. If if they decided to go rogue, it's just, it's, I can understand that. Hmm? What do you mean? The matter of how they change people's hearts. If they honestly possess that ability, it could be used for more than extracting confessions. Hmm. It could be that what seem to be ordinary crimes are actually being perpetrated by these methods. Hmm. You know, you're absolutely right. Oh, please don't misunderstand. This is all purely hypothetical. It is only if people who can use such a power truly exist. Either way, though, this cannot be ignored. You know what I'm al always fascinated by? is like like for death note for example they just took everything on the chin they were like shinigami okay death note okay like that should just shatter your understanding that should just shatter like your entire belief system of everything that exists in the world when you realize that there are gods of death and books that can just kill people off in an instant I, I always I, I always think it's crazy how like at least in Japan or at least in anime or things like this the you know, Japanese culture, they take it so lightheartedly. They're just like, they just accept it initially. I would, I would be like baffled if something like that were true. The existence of the Phantom Thieves would be nothing but a threat to our everyday lives. To be honest, I'm already working alongside the police to help sort out this matter. Wow. Damn, dude, we're public enemy. All right, well, he's already on our bad side. <laughs> Like what he was saying might be right. He made it sound like we're the baddies. I don't like it. All right, uh, Ryuji, don't go to the dark side, please. I don't want you to get all emotional and start striking down people willy nilly. That stuff about the police. Do you think it's for real? He can say whatever he wants. The justice of it all is something we can decide for ourselves. Oh, sorry. I, I gotta go take a leak. <laughs> you guys wait here. I'll be right back. Sure. Oh my god. I'm gonna keep going, okay? Oh, it's you. Oh, here we go. The one-on-one. -on -one. I'm glad I found you. I wanted to thank you in person. To paraphrase Hegel, advancement cannot occur without both thesis and antithesis. Yeah, so it's basically... I'm his opposite. He believes that we exist for the raw like I kind of went against what he was saying, so therefore it helps him out. <laughs> My apologies. What I mean is that our discussion was quite meaningful. Yeah, this is L versus Light Part 2 right here. <laughs> Few people around me are so willing to speak their minds as freely as you did earlier. Adults are only interested in using the young. All they simply do as the adults say. Yeah. I feel like our discussions could prove quite fruitful. Would you mind talking with me again? Yeah, sure. Fine by me. If the opportunity arises. Thank you. It makes me glad to hear that. The students from Shujin are truly quite interesting. I look forward to seeing you again. Take care, Akechi-kun. Well then. Talk about a problematic guy to get involved with. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? There's probably a lot we can learn from him, though. Yeah. 
He's gonna try to learn our identity. We're gonna gather secrets and information on- Dude, this is literally like L versus Light 2.0. It seems the detective Akechi has taken a liking to me. Oh, here we go! How is this relevant? How is this relevant? I'm really interested in this character. I want to know how he heard about the pancakes. Unless... I, I'm, I don't know if I'm tripping balls. I can't believe you evaded the police's network until today. Okay. The only logical explanation is that someone in the police has ties to the Phantom Thieves. Oh, he joined us? Explain yourself. Never! Oh, who is he? I am thou. Thou art I. It shall become the wings of the birth of the, the justice, justice persona. persona. Alrighty. La Justice. Goro Akechi. Alright. Nice, here we go. Here's the start. I don't even have him on my team yet. So long. Wait, was that Akechi? I can't stand that high and mighty attitude. <laughs> Just breathe in the same air as it makes me sick. Come on. Jesus. Let's go. Alrighty. After you, buddy. Hmm. That was fascinating. I wonder if he's gonna be like Mish uh, uh, like Mishima. Like he's not in our party or anything like that, but he'll still be an asset to us. Like. In, like leaking police intel based on what side you said what a boring field trip we didn't even get a worthwhile target uh, that I catchy bastard thinking about what he did is just pissing me off again he tried he clearly tried to discredit everything we're doing and he and he just had to say it on live TV too don't be so sour there are without a doubt people we have saved I wish I could have seen the interaction of how Yusuke and catchy would have interacted because I feel like they're both very eloquent um, those people could not have been saved if not for the heroics of the Phantom Thieves. I am living proof of that. That's what I mentioned earlier, like, he would still be in a shitty situation, you know, uh, Shiho and An would have been sex- still been getting sexually harassed by, uh, Kamoshida. The volleyball team would have still been getting abused and all that other stuff. Ah, what a nice thing to say! Alright, still is- still was what Akechi-kun's- said actually wrong i feel like he had a point why are you bringing that up now i mean is it really okay to be doing this to people just because they're criminals doesn't that seem a little selfish we are phantom thieves on i doubt everyone would forgive us for what we did to madarame yet i still decide that it was a necessary act kamushita too we weren't gonna do shit uh we aren't gonna do wait we weren't gonna do shit to him through any kind of normal methods. That's true, but what do you think, Akira? Are we being selfish? Yeah, we're helping people. Whether people, whether the majority of people want to see that or not, we're not killing them, we're not torturing them, we're not, you know, berating them, like we're literally having them come clean so the, so the lives in question, you know, the people that are being affected by said individuals, you know, are they themselves saved? I guess I can't really think of any other way. Hmm. I believe our best path forward is sticking to our justice, not that of the law. Shouldn't that be enough? Alright, yeah, you're right. Okay. I'll stop bringing it up. Just you watch, a catchy. Someday you're totally gonna see who was, was right. Alright, let's stop talking about this. Dude, he has a ton of influence on us already. And we only, like, talk... We've only seen... I wonder if that's gonna change... I wonder if that's gonna change people's perception of us now on the fan site. God, I'm furious! You heard what Akechi, uh, Akechi said, right? How dare he declare the Phantom Thieves are criminals. As the ambassador of the Phantom Aficionado website, I cannot stay quiet about this. I'm gonna show Akechi, uh, how people online really feel. Oh god, I don't know if that's a good idea. I'll change up the survey questions tomorrow morning. Justice is what the Phantom- Justice is with the Phantom Thieves. Keep doing- what you do best. Why is he, of all people, getting mad about this? Well, he, like, represents us. So, in a way, when you talk shit about the Phantom Thieves, you talk shit about him, in a way. Alright, hold on, let's see. Yeah. Alright. Oh, hold on a second. Uh, I didn't check the calendar. 
When was the last time I did that? I think I did it Tuesday. So the 21st. I'll try to do it any time between the 19th and the 21st to keep my plant alive. 